Here we go, here we go. Now, I'm going to say right now, I was waiting to release this video. And I was waiting for this news to come out. The PGA Tour live deal is more uncertain to go ahead than ever before. Now, that's not my opinion. I got two pieces of evidence that you have to listen to here. And I think a lot of people are going to be in the same boat. One of these pieces of evidence comes from a live golf player. Yes, a live golf player. Who else was skeptical that this was not going to turn pear shape, right? This, for me, is looking like the PGA Tour live golf deal is not going ahead. Welcome back to a brand new video here on Back Nine Films. As always, right, we bring you the breaking news. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you never miss a breaking news story. Now, I'm actually bringing you this story on my holiday. It is that big. So let's get into this story. So this whole story has come on the eve of the 2023 Valderrama Live Golf event. And a Live Golf player has spoken to James Corrigan from the Telegraph Sports. Now listen to what the first piece of evidence is here. This is what one of the players told James Corrigan. It was presented to us with such certainty by the tours and the pit. But a few weeks on, and it seems more uncertain than ever, the PGA Tour policy board the other night admitted there might be no deal. The PGA Tour policy board admitted there might be no deal. So there's more to come on this. So you've got to think, right? We had this whole 180 from Jay Monaghan and the PGA Tour. And now, just two or three weeks on, we're hearing that it might not even go ahead. Where would that leave us? Where would that leave the, the PGA Tour? Where would that leave professional golf in general? As a golf fan, as a sports fan, how could you ever trust what a governing body has to say? Now, this player went on further to say, so what happens then? Sure, they will be able to extend the negotiations and this framework deal ensures that there can't be any more litigation against each other going forward, regardless. Okay, well, that's only good for the PGA Tour because they were spending over 50 million on legal fees. Furthermore, so again, what happens then? The Saudis won't walk away. They now have a seat at the big table. So there has to be some compromise. So I only see more compromise coming from the PGA Tour's point of view. Don't forget in that wording on the other video that I did two days ago about the five things you don't realize what's in the deal is simply that the Live slash PIF fund have first refusal on any sponsorship opportunities and will be the main sponsor of at least one event. This for me is just going to take even more of a twist. So what are your thoughts on that? And you know what, guys, with all these videos, I love it when you get involved. So we've heard straight from the horse's mouth from a live golfer. I would understand this being, I guess, a little bit more skeptical if it came from a PGA Tour player because some of the PGA Tour players aren't going to be too happy that the live golf deal is going ahead. But don't forget, we're hearing this from a live golf player that admitted there is more uncertainty and more uncertain than ever that this deal will not be struck. How do you think this stands? I would love for you to get down in the comments and I'd love to have that conversation with you down in the comments on what you think on this. So as always, guys, put your comments down there. What do you think of what this live golfer has told the Telegraph Sport? What do you think of those comments? As I said right at the start of this video, I am not surprised. Now, this next bit really does rile me up. Don't forget, Jay Monaghan has pretty much said, and we saw a little bit from Maury McElroy, that Live Golf was going to go away. Maybe not. Maybe not. So, Live Boss, right, Al Raymond has said, Live Golf is... It's my baby. Now, let me put some context to this. He is quoted saying, according to the publication, Al Rahman is said to say that he had numerous talks with Live players after he appeared on CNBC on the 6th of June, minutes after the stunning news dropped. So that's minutes after we had this whole outroar with the new Live Golf deal. Now, one of the players is said to have been told by Al Rahman when he asked about the future of Live Golf. Because I think it's interesting sometimes to think about it this way around. We've only heard this from a PGA Tour player point of view, but what about it from a Live Golfer? There may be some Live Golfers who have no PGA Tour status, who have no DP World Tour status, they're like, hang on, hold the phone a minute. 
Now, I know a lot of you will go, well, it serves them right, but still, let's see, let's see their scenario. What happens here? Like, where do I stand? Will I have anything to play in? Now, he is quoted saying, Al Roman, it's my effing baby. Now, for me, that says one thing. Live Golf isn't going anywhere. This is his thing. This is the thing he started, and he's not going to give it up lightly. So there are two pieces of evidence which really back up the fact that maybe the PGA Tour deal is more uncertain than we actually think, and maybe Jay Monaghan hasn't struck the deal we actually think he has. <laughs> oh my god, this is interesting. So, it does seem we don't know where we stand. However, apparently Rory McIlroy has jetted off to Detroit to have discussions with the policy board. We're also hearing other rumours that apparently uh, Mr. Players have formed a united front amid wild speculation about the future of the game. So let's just let's just think about this logically. We're hearing two pieces of evidence, one from a Live Golf player, also Al Roman, who says Live Golf is still his baby. They're two key pieces which says to me something isn't adding up. We're also seeing from a PGA Tour point of view a collection of players forming against this deal. Could we actually have, right, this is this may be the, uh, a, a random thought, could we have another tour which just comes and pops out of nowhere, which goes, we're not dealing with any of that, let's just create our own scenario here, which is for the players, by the players, and looks after the players. What do you think on that? Now, I know the PGA Tour has so much history, and a lot of events are historic in the sense of what the players are playing for, but is this all just getting a bit too much? Guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's breaking news story. There are three key pieces of juicy information. I know two big ones on the live side of things, and I can't wait to hear what you think down in the comments. This is a breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell so you never, ever miss one again.